hello welcome back to my gurukul uh, i tried uh, sowing the uh, seeds what i had in the house this is green peas or mutter groundnut and uh, pumpkin um, i will show it to you on kairav's hand so groundnut green peas and pumpkin seeds which i had it in i just extracted this from the vegetable which is there in the house of course not the groundnut though but the green peas and the pumpkin you can see majority of these seeds are floating so usually we don't uh, sow the floating seeds we select the ones which are non floating however i did not want to waste so many i was so surprised to see so many so i thought i'll let me plant it and see check whether it's working but today's video is actually uh, concerned with uh, how to use the azitobacter and the phosphobacteria from the madi totem kit of tamil nadu government or the subsidized uh, Uh, terrace gardening kit which has been available from the Tamil Nadu government. So you can see this here. This is Azospirulum and Phosphobacteria. So how do we have to use this? So that's a big question. Of course, the instructions are clearly given in Tamil and in English. And there are three different methods to be followed. There are three different. I am following the uh, one of the easiest methods. They have written mix four packets with ten. kgs of farm manure but i have uh, converted that into one packet for 2 and a half um, kg or 2 kgs so one packet into 2.5 we can do that uh, so one kg of uh, one um, packet of this i am mixing it into 2.5 kg of farmyard manure both the packets azitobacter and phosphobacteria i will cut this and mix it in in 2.5 um, kg of farm manure and we will sprinkle this into each grow bags um, and the garden area where we are growing the plants so i'll be using i'll be cutting this and uh, once we cut open this you will find one more uh, cover inside it one more black uh, i mean it, both of them look a little dark brownish or blackish um, if you have garden gloves then please do wear it because uh, it's all bacteria of course they are not very harmful to us but still to be on the safer side use your garden gloves if you have it or um, wear a polythene or a plastic cover i am not using it because um, i don't uh, uh, feel that they are very harmful however if you are very cautious about uh, you know uh, doing it in a very neat and a nice manner then wear your garden gloves and do it so i'm cutting open this i'm mixing both of this one packet is azitobacter and the other one is fox for bacteria both of them help in nitrogen fixing right so easiest method i felt this, this was the easiest method you can see see the uh, soil um the uh, the manure color it's almost brownish but then this is blackish all right so after we mix you can just check how uh, the soil is turning into little dark dark color we'll mix it nicely so i have mixed one packet of phosphobacteria one um, packet of azitobacter in 2.5 kg of um, garden soil or manure right now okay, kaira wants to show it to you how it looks so this is how it it turns after some time after mixing little darkish so we are taking this in onto the uh, this the dust spoon and you can see the difference so the one which on the hand is a little brownish and this is a little darkish all right so we'll sprinkle a little into each of these grow bags oh yes i have cats and dogs uh, attacking my grow bag because i don't have i can't go on to the terrace i stay in the ground floor and the terrace is in the fourth floor mm, so i'm using the ground floor but then now rodents are also attacking after the chicken mesh now you can see the rodents coming and eating up the grow bags now i'll have to think again to protect the grow bags all right so i'm just mixing a handful of it into each of the grow bags by sprinkling it uh, so we'll have the bacteria there in each grow bags to help uh, the plants fix nitrogen all right so each of these grow bags i am just uh, adding a handful of it sprinkling it don't put it in one area just try to sprinkle it around uh, evenly of course if you have any other particular machine or if you have a very dry manure then you can uh, probably it'll be easier for you to um, sprinkle it around my manure was not very dry it was a little wet so and hence it's little difficult it can't be spread out easily it sticks on to the hand 
so this is what uh, we are going to this is how we are going to mix the azetobacter and the phosphobacteria which you get it from the marithotum kids which is uh, subsidized rate right from the tamil nadu uh, horticulture department all right so the leftover place i will show you another area where we used to uh, do our farming where we tried to convert the sand into the soil by adding all the kitchen waste every day so three months of continuous effort of adding kitchen uh, waste into the sand has turned up into quite a fertile soil so this is the area again i have put the leftover uh, chicken mesh to prevent the dogs and cats eating up my entire plants and spoiling them up we have used this log of wood from the um, from the uh, quarters itself which was lying waste so just dug up the earth and try to put it up uh, the chicken mesh i paid around uh, 200 rupees per roll the other difficulty now i'm facing is uh, direct sunlight this is the only area probably it's very close by to my house so the neem leaf uh, the neem plant and the other plants around um, are not allowing the direct sunlight to come onto this place um, but still quite enough for the plants to grow so we are sprinkling this azetobacter and phosphobacteria mixture onto this sand also uh, on the soil mixture we have we have converted the sand into this uh, kind of soil mixture for the plants to grow so this is how you can use your azetobacter and phosphobacteria packet there will be two packets which you will get if you buy two kits so for one kit you get one packet each of azetobacter and phosphobacteria there is one more white packet which you get that is actually to prevent the uh, pests from entering i will make another video on how to use that so this is it for today i'm just trying to mix them up and if you do like this video please do like share and subscribe the next video will be on uh, the seeds which is available um, or which we have got it in the kit and how and the planting of these uh, seeds so i will be uh, frequently updating so this is actually palak or spinach uh, but you can see uh, the pests are already attacking uh, ants on we ha i have a lot of centipedes and millipedes also so i'm wondering maybe they are eating uh, eating it up so you can see this so now we'll have to spray neem oil into this neem oil is again available in the um, maritotem kit and if you do like this video please do like share and subscribe don't forget to kill on the uh, click on the bell notification icon for more updates thank you